dining room. It's very simple. Uh, there are some steps to it you need to remember, and more importantly, you need to do them every time that you run food. The ticket for the pizza is going to be in the middle, in between. Not over here, because that's going to fly off, and there's going to be so many papers here. It's going to be in between the dough and the tray itself, so it will not move. It will stay there. And here you can tell that it's table number two, what the food is. So, if you're gem two, you're going to be out in the uh, hallway or whatever it is. When you hear something like this or like this, you're going to run to the hallway. And there's going to be a food to run. That's what it means. There's food to run. You need a gem two. Step number one, claim your food. Get pizza on site. So, to grab this pizza, you need up to the tray. Imagine there's a pizza here. There's going to be the spatula on it, and you're gonna need one of these because the tray gets really hot. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna come in the hallway. Step number one, I'm going to claim the food, and I'm gonna tell you why. To claim it, I'm just gonna grab it. The way to grab it is you're gonna pull up. Again, pull the food, pick it up. You can as well push it this way pick it up like this. So why do we claim the food as soon as you uh, first step of running food? Here's why. There may be an order of spaghetti meatball here, and a salad here, and a pizza. And we have, uh, imagine we have four gem twos. Imagine, four gem twos. And there's three food items here. I am the first gem two to arrive. I'm gonna claim something that is going to go. I'm gonna claim this, I'm here. The other one who comes in is gonna claim the other one and the other one's gonna claim the other one. And we're holding, maybe reckon, talking to the jump five. All right, this goes to table number two, pizzas, whatever it is, and I'm gonna walk off. The fourth gem two heard that ring and is running over here, but they're gonna see that there is no food up here. So all food has been claimed. We don't need an extra gem two, it's done. So they're gonna go back to the dining room. Claim the food. Step number two is quality control to ensure order accuracy. Accuracy is the size and the content of the food itself. Match the ticket to the dish itself. So that is gonna require you reading the ticket. I read that it's a 16 inch specialty pizza, half supreme and half multi meat. If there's any peculiar requirements, like they want it's a supreme, no black olives, or they want extra jalapeno, something on it, I'm going to read that ticket, ensure that the food matches the ticket. That's a, as well, needless to say, the size of pizza. This could say 16 inch, and imagine this is a 12 inch. I'm like, oh wait a minute, the size of the pizza doesn't match. So step number one, we're going to claim our dish. Step number two is match the ticket to the food itself. That's our number two. Step number three is communicate with gem five, project your voice. Table number two, and the way to project your voice is two things. One, don't speak too fast or too slow, and you need to put emphasis on certain uh, letters and whatever. Table number two, if it's like 32, 32, not 32, or 34. 54, you wanna speak clearly, leave no room for was it 54 or 56 we had front staff there was a season in life here that would drop food at the wrong table all the time oh that was 33 no i was 13 you said this i said that no project your voice because you can and you're a healthy human being and communicate understand where there is room for mistake table number or if it's the name of the person make sure you speak clearly leaving no room for confusion say things once but in a clear way so you don't have to repeat yourself again i'm going to communicate with the gem five here. their job the gem five is to reconcile this ticket they're going to click on it or check all and they're going to click on done so that's what they do that's why we need to make sure if there is any ticket it's like wait a minute it's been 26 have they gotten their food yet or not and if the gem five is not doing their job this food has already gone but it did not go through the tablet so that's kind of what happened I'm going to communicate clearly to our gem five and I'm going to tell them that table number two, the pizza is going out, so they know it. I, I can just leave the ticket under the thing, it will not fall off, like under the, the pizza, and I'm going to go to the dining room. Come with me. 
I'm going to give it a curve because I don't want to crash to anybody. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to give it a curve so I'm not crashing to someone else who's passing me by. I'm going to come over here and as soon as I have sight on the dining room, I'm going to try to locate my ticket. I'm sorry, my table. So imagine that this is table number two, uh, actually there because we preset it there. So table number two, imagine is that one over there. I locate my ticket. I'm not going to go in the middle of the dining room looking around at people and table numbers. I'm going to be standing far over here. I'm going to look over. I'm going to know where I'm going and I'm going to go purposefully over there. So here's what I'm going to do. Come with me. All right, so I'm going to come to the table uh, and uh, I can see that our Gem 4 has been doing a great job presetting the tables. And so that is great to see. So I'm going to approach the table. I'm going to smile. And here is going to be quality control number two. It is an absolute must. This is non-negotiable. You have got to do it every single time you want food, period. And there are reasons for that that you must do it. So here's how it works. I'm going to approach this table. I'm going to confirm that indeed that this is their food. So here's how I'm going to do it in a nice way. I'm going to say, hi you guys, how are y'all doing? Hope everybody's really hungry. I have, and this ticket is here, I'm going to grab the ticket in my hand. So I'm going to say, I have a 16 inch half supreme and half multi meat for you. I'm clear in the way I'm talking and I, let me set this down. I'm talking as I am doing. I don't know the height on this, but this is a little bit higher than that, as you can see. So this is going to be secure. So you must remove this. And the way to do that is you just got to pick it up. It's 10 inches. This is 10 inches. Why does that matter? Is this. We have four sizes of pizza. We have a 10 inch. You put it here, it'll fall through. A 12 inch is going to have just a little bit over here and a little bit over there. It's going to be fragile. So do not put 10 inch or 12 inch on the stand. Only 16 inch and, and 20 inches we put on the stand. Got it? If I'm coming to this table and they have a 12 inch, I'm just gonna drag everything to, to a corner and then I'm gonna set the pizza down, which is smaller, it's just gonna go down. The important part is confirming that food in a clear way. It's a left side, it's a 16 inch left side. No mushroom, extra jalapeno here for you. Let me set this down. You must confirm. I cannot emphasize it enough. You confirm it once in the hallway as a gem too, and you do it right here another time. Here is why, before you set the food down, if they were like, well, we did not want mushroom on it, or we want an extra jalapeno, they're gonna tell you, you're not gonna leave the food and leave, and they're gonna take a bite, and they're like, well, there's no jalapenos on it, remake that pizza, or whatever it is. Then you have made extra work for everybody. Gem one did not do their quality control, and the ticket says it's a 16-inch Supreme. It doesn't say no mushroom on it, and there is no mushroom on it. You mash the ticket in the hallway, you drop it here, and you say, oh, I have a 16 inch Supreme here. They'll be quick to tell you, oh, we wanted no mushrooms when you do that quality control. But if you just leave the food here, is there anything else? And you leave, they're gonna take a bite, and you know, people hate what they don't like, usually when it comes to food, you know. Oh no, there's mushroom on it, we have to remake it, whatever it is. So this is the season when you set the food down to do that quality control, confirm the food, and make sure that it is indeed what they wanted. And you ask them, is there anything else I can get for y'all? And they're like, nope, that'll be, we're ready to go, fantastic. Enjoy your dinner. You wanna wish them well so they can enjoy. They already should have their ranch or their parmesan. They should have their utensils and everything. They should be ready to uh, dig in as well, right here.